My hatred... goes beyond anything you've ever seen! <laughs> Just be glad you're alive, boy. Feel my full wrath... BEFORE YOU DIE! Alright, all jokes aside, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having an amazing day slash night. Hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, so today's video, we finally have the rumored season 4 confirmation officially. Well, maybe not officially, but by the looks of it on the Bandai Namco side that we have one character slot that is not unlocked. And on the Steam side, where we have five slots um, for DLCs, which are listed in the DLC section. Keep in mind, those DLC sections were the same for Season 3 as well. So it, it was the same thing for Season 3 where they were all blacked out and uh, they were not confirmed or they were not shown. So this is how we know that Season 4 is officially confirmed from these sources, right? And uh, But keep in mind, let me just confirm, put this out of the way. When you see this one slot that which is over here, the, the, the character slot or the character silhouette, it doesn't necessarily mean the character has to look like that. Uh, the silhouette basically means that it was it was the same for all the other DLC uh, silhouettes which were, which were there before. So it could be any character. It could not be that silhouette itself. So it's it's a random thing. Uh, yeah, but say by keeping that aside, uh, we got confirmation that the five slots for DLC, which necessarily wouldn't mean that it's all DLC characters. It could be two DLCs, and rest of it could be features. Right? Could be different features for Tekken. Uh, reason being that is people have already said that or, or the developers have already said that they're, they're I don't know if they said it but this is what some of the people have said that the Tekken 7 roster is already congested and that we do not need to have as many more characters that we need already have. So who are these three characters that are going to be there or who are these characters that are going to be coming in for season 3 right. So it's either going to be Roger which I made a video about or the other two could be Kunamitsu or Ogre. The reason being that Jun wouldn't be in this season because Jun is a major character that plays a big role in the Mishima saga, so she would be better left off in the Tekken 8. I, I, I do not know. It, she could probably come back. It's, it's just speculations at this point. This is what I'm predicting, or according to me at least. So I'd say either two characters or three characters, and the rest of it's gonna be features. So Here's the confirmation if you guys want to see it. It's, it's, it's been there all along. So if you guys uh, have any doubts, I'll post a link in the description as well. So you can just check it out for yourself. And oh, so, uh, thinking about a different character. So you know the uh, little bit of a short comedy vi a clip that I've uh, put together in the first part of the video. That's Shin Kamiya from Tekken 7 Blood Vengeance. If you guys haven't seen the movie, it's a movie about uh, before it happened before Tag Tournament 2, I believe. And uh, Shin Kamiya is a is one of the protagonists where he is a test subject for the Mishima Zaibatsu, same as Kazuya was a test subject before. And basically, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. If you want to check the movie out, you can check the movie out. But Blood Vengeance is a good movie, apart from other shitty movie that they made in the previous uh, live action movies that was Garbo. And <laughs> so yeah, Shin Kamiya could be one of the potential returning characters because he was an original character so what happened Shin Kamiya died right but it's just a movie but they can bring bring him back as a fighter for uh, C C Tekken 7 or for season 4 so Shin Kamiya could be a possibility to be coming back in Tekken 7 yeah yeah so let me know what you guys think it, it, this is a short video I just wanted to make a confirmation but I know most of the people have already made a video about this but I wanted to put this out from my side as well and let you guys know so yeah, that being said, uh, this this is basically good news and that we have confirmation for Season 4 officially from these sources coming to Tekken 7. I don't know when they're going to be announcing it uh, due to the, all the delays that are happening due to the coronavirus and stuff like that. Uh, it could happen in a tournament or it could just happen randomly as an announcement on YouTube or stuff like that. But yeah, but I think they're going to leave most of the crucial aspects of the reveal for tournaments which are going to be happening later in the uh, later in the year where everything calms down a little bit and the tournaments and everything is back on track. So look forward to that. And yeah, that's all I got to say. This is all the video that th this is basically the video about. If you guys have any more comments or any more suggestions on any other any other videos that I need to make, predictions or anything, let me know. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below as well. That being said, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. Peace. Let's
Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream?